Hey everyone, and welcome back to Lori's Boston Found, where thrifted is the new black. I'm so excited to have you here with me today. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. This is a channel all about reselling. It's about thrifting. I share hauls with you. I purchase clothes, mostly thrifted items, and I sell them online, full time, on Poshmark and on eBay. Today's video is very special because this is going to be an entire collection that I am putting exclusively on my website. This is a project that I've been working on for some time. I have really wanted to get a little bit creative with my sourcing and I've been wanting to do some sort of a curated collection that allows me to just tap into something that I feel like I haven't really done much here on my channel or with my business. If you've been following me for some time, you know that I source all sorts of things. I source for men, I source for women and children, I pick up vintage pieces, I pick up things that I just like just because. Um, but this collection is going to be a nod to Boston. It's a very special place to me. And I want to do a limited series of collections quarterly that highlight my city. So today's collection is called the Back Bay Collection. Recently, I went into Boston specifically for this to get my thumbnail cover and to get some shots for my website. And I was just reminded of the beauty of Boston. And the Back Bay is an area that is kind of a central location that I always find myself going to when the kids are home from break, during the holidays. It encompasses Newbury Street, which is like the really fancy shopping district of Boston. Um, you have the Prudential Building in Copley Plaza. You have the old Trinity Church and the Boston Public Library, all just like real gems for our city. So what you're gonna see today is a collection of pieces that were inspired by this area and also by the season. All of the pieces that I picked out for this collection are earth tones. They really remind me of all the beautiful colors that we see here in Boston in the fall or in New England in general. So I hope you really enjoy this collection. As far as this collection goes, I am honing in on all women's and I have a couple houseware pieces, just like a few pillows and accessories for the home. I have some bags, some shoes. In total, I think I have about 45 pieces in this collection. So I'm just gonna go through the haul and share it with you. And then you can head over to my website, lauriesbostonfound.com, and you can start shopping. This weekend, I will be traveling, so I won't be shipping anything until next Monday, which would be, I believe, like, it's Columbus Day. So it'll be next Tuesday that I will be shipping everything out. What I love about this collection is everything that is here is going to be priced $50 or less. And I have brands like Eileen Fisher and Free People and Madewell as part of this collection. So you're gonna see some really beautiful pieces, some beautiful vintage pieces. And the shipping on my website is $4.99 per order. So I'm really excited to be able to offer you some of these pieces that are more expensive on Poshmark because Poshmark if you are unfamiliar, they take 20% of every sale. I definitely mark my prices up sometimes, giving myself some room to allow for offers and for Poshmark fees. They also charge $7.11 for shipping. So I'm hoping that this will just be a really accessible collection for people who are in that fall mood. It really has the fall vibes going for it. And I really hope you enjoy it. I do plan on releasing a collection on my website quarterly, and they will all revolve around the iconic neighborhoods of Boston. If you enjoy this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I would love so much for you to be part of my community. Some of these pieces uh, you have seen before, very few, maybe things that I've shown in hauls, but I haven't listed yet on Poshmark. And I have even pulled a couple pieces that were just too perfect for this collection to leave behind. But if they're on Poshmark, you will see them for 30% less on my website. So for example, I have a coat that is $58 listed on Poshmark and it's gonna be 30% off of that. Plus you're gonna get the discounted shipping if you shop directly through my website. Um, so I just want to let you know that before we get started. Um, these pieces range, they're very mid tier. I don't have anything that's crazy off the charts, but this was an opportunity for me to shop based on style, but I did consider brands as well. So I think you are gonna see a nice mix of pieces here and I really hope you enjoy them. So let's go. I'm starting with a piece that has been in my closet and has received a lot of attention. 
and this is just so perfect for right now. It is this fall trench coat in this very soft material and it has like these gorgeous colors that were very inspiring to me, which is like the cinnamon. And this is more of like a, like a tealish green, but I was really inspired by like the olive green and the cinnamon and the beautiful earth tones of the season. Um, this is Fav Lux. It is a size large and this is listed in my closet for $58, but it is going to be just $40 on my website. I love it. Um, and it is double breasted. So it, it has that classic look as well. Just beautiful. All right, next up, these were recently given to me by one of Angelina's friends. Thanks, Ashley, if you're watching. She is um, like a friend to me too, and she's an avid thrifter. So if I find things that I think she would like, I give them to her, like if for some reason they might have a little flaw, she doesn't care. And she had bought these fantastic vintage, almost acid washed Calvin Klein jeans and um, I don't think they fit her the way she liked them. These are little, let me just say, they are a size four and they're vintage. So I will have the measurements listed on my website and they are adorable. And again, they would go with any of these pieces back here, just like your classic high-waisted Calvin Klein jeans. They're amazing. Next up is this beautiful Madewell sweater. It is in a little bit of a cropped style or just more like a short-waisted style um, and I'm going to bring this in to show you it also has this really beautiful ribbed detail and it's nice it just goes out straight almost like a little wide at the cuff there and it has that same ribbed detail around the bottom so this is an extra extra small but given the measurements of it I mean I I would venture to say that this would fit up to a size medium depending on how you want to wear it this turtleneck I have a few of. Um, I had picked these up on Retail Arbitrage. I don't know that I ever shared them with you. I just sold one over the weekend, but I think I picked up five or six. They're super lightweight turtlenecks, and I don't tend to like things on my neck like that are too restrictive, and I love that this is lightweight. So it is new with tag from Madewell. I have a variety of sizes. It is in my closet right now for $28. It will be on my website for $20. And it has that like maroonish, almost like cinnamon colored stripe. Love that. Would look great with the Calvin Klein jeans as well. These pants I picked up recently, but I don't think I've shared these with you yet. The brand is just Rewash, so I think that is a boutique brand. These remind me very much of like an Everlane style. They have that gorgeous ribbing. These are just so comfortable. They are a size medium. They have like these little buttons here, but it's, you know, they're just like for show. And they are a wide leg crop. These are so, so cute and perfect for the season. Next up is a piece uh, that is from Target. And I just think this is so cute. And it is plus size. So the brand is Ava and Viv. You may be familiar. There it is. And you can see this is like that textured, just oversized, comfy sweatshirt. And it's in like a lighter shade of that cinnamon. And it has this little zip detail on the back. And so that is on the back. And it is a little gathered on the bottom here, but just super cozy. The size is actually cut off. I would estimate this is like a 1X or a 2X. Again, this is something free people would mark with a size medium. So I would say if you like things big and slouchy, this would be for you as well. That's what I love about some of these styles. You know, they fit different body types depending on how you like to wear your clothing. Okay, we have another plus size item that is so beautiful. This is a size 22, um, just this blush, almost like a blush peach. It has more peach undertones than pink. And it is J. Crew Mercantile. It's just this lovely blouse. It is new with tag. What I love about this too is you could definitely wear it tucked in or kind of like half tucked or if you want a, a more modest look, if you want to cover the bum and the pooch like I usually do, um, you could wear this with like just some jeans, some skinny jeans. It would still look cute with some ankle booties or some leggings. You could really do a lot with this and it has all this little pleated detail here and also in the back really beautiful piece. 
And I was so happy that I actually found some really cute plus size pieces. That made me happy. This is new without tag. Um, and I know that because it is mine. I purchased it and I've just never worn it. It's Rachel Zoe. Um, and it is a size large. I bought this with the intention of wearing it with this coat. So I just thought it would be like a really cute, pretty little camisole underneath. And then when I got it on, it was just way too low cut for PG television. So um, that was just for me, but it's really a nice piece. And I would probably like wear it out to dinner, but I bought it specifically to do a video. And as I was leaning over, I'm like, this just isn't gonna work. So this is a size large. This would be cute under a black blazer. It would be cute under a cardigan sweater. It's a really versatile piece. Okay, next up, I have a really cute picture of Lindsay wearing this. So anything that I have that Lindsay wore for me, I'm gonna definitely pop into the video. The brand is Guinevere, which is a brand a brand from Anthropology, And check out the Scoop Hem in this beautiful mustard color. Great to wear slouchy over some jeans. I love this mustard color this season. I didn't find too many pieces in the mustard. I was really on the hunt with the rust color. I felt like I zoned in on those, but I did find a few mustard colored pieces that were really cute. And this is a size small, but again, a very versatile piece. I guess my style really came through because I like things slouchy and comfortable. And so I think this collection reflects that preference for me. Okay, this piece may or may not be there when you go to look for it because I picked this up with my daughter in mind. I thought that Angie would really like this. It's American Eagle and it's just this adorable crocheted top. It's getting dark here and windy. I'm wondering how much light I'm going to have. This is a current piece. I wanna say this is fall of 2019 or 2018, but it's really pretty. And this will be about $20 on my site. Of all the pieces in this collection, this was my favorite. And um, it fits me really nicely. So I'm just gonna say right up front, this is gonna be $50 on my website because I kind of want it, but I would sell it for 50. So this is a Madewell cardigan sweater in this beautiful olive green color. It's a medium. I am clearly a size large, extra large. This fits me great. I absolutely love it. Super soft. There's a little picture of the texture. Let me see what it's made of. I'm wondering. Oh, this is why it's so nice. Um, so it's 56% nylon, 30% merino, merino wool, and 10% alpaca. And if I were to list this on my on Poshmark, I would probably list it around 65. It is so soft, I can't even tell you. It's beautiful. These jeans Lindsay is wearing in the video. These are just really cute Pilcro in the letterpress, high-rise denim leggings in a size 26. They are just your basic black high-rise leggings and jeggings, leggings, they call them leggings. Um, so they do zip, they do have a button, so they're not like pull on, but they definitely have some nice stretch to them. And I just wanted to include these in the collection because I feel like while it is a smaller size, this is just such a versatile pair of jeans. Like this would pretty much go with every single top in this collection. It would go with that beautiful plaid jacket from the beginning. It would go with the Guinevere sweater. It would go with the snakeskin tank top. Like absolutely everything would go with a pair of anthropology denim leggings. This is a beautiful Eileen Fisher. I think I picked this up when I was with Hope at my store in Waltham. Absolutely love this sweater. This um, where this one is definitely more olive green this has like a little bit of like a darker, it almost is coming off like black on camera, but it's definitely not I'm losing. I'm losing sweaters as I talk. So this is another cardigan sweater. Um, and I think this also may be a wool blend. Excellent condition. These pieces are all in excellent condition. This is 100% wool. Looking at this and I'm a little concerned about this right here. I need to make sure that's not a stain. Certain things you just don't see until you're under the lights. Um, but let me double check on that. But anyways, 100% wool. This is a size medium. I would also say that this would fit up to a size large Eileen Fisher. This skirt you have seen. When I did my video for Fall Trends, my vintage edition, if you haven't seen that video, it's really fun. It's where I took all of the fall trends, not all of them, some of the trends that are inspiring me this fall, and I 
did a collection of vintage pieces and this was in that collection and this is a beautiful leather maxi skirt that is black and just absolutely stunning and i also have pictures of lindsay in this although she wasn't crazy about the shirt she was in for this but i thought she looked adorable i'll pop one of those pictures up here um, this would be great with some boots and any sort of top like we went with a more fitted top i feel like this might look really cute with the leather skirt i just love the leather skirt i love that it's so classic that it can go with anything some of these pieces are listed already i'm going to give it about a week to sell on my website and then if things aren't moving on my website i'm probably going to start cross posting over to eBay and Poshmark at that time if they're not already over there. Another cute pair of jeans. These are just a light wash pair of guest jeans. I'm sorry, I keep looking over here at myself, um, rookie era. And they have a raw hem, which is really cute. I love these a lot. And these are a size, do, do, do. these are called the Sexy Curve Jeans and they are a size 26 again. I guess I was running short on larger sizes in for my bottoms here. Um, I'm also putting this in my collection. This is a genuine leather belt and it has, it's leopard, it almost, it has like that calf hair. So pretty. This is a size large, which is great. Like brand new, so beautiful belt. This will probably be $20. These pieces I want to show together because I think they would be so cute together. This would be better for my friends who are in warmer climates like my California customers and such or people who are in the South. I just picked this up. This is a beautiful tunic style piece from Free People and it retails for $108 and it is also new with tag. It has all this beautiful embroidery on it. I love the deep V. This is a size small. I just thought this was so cute. So some, in some cases, uh, I don't think this can be a dress because it's really short. Although, hey, you do you. Somebody could definitely rock this as a mini dress. Um, I'm just gonna come in close so you can see the embroidery up close. I have like my little, uh, my baby ring light right here. So every time I get close to the camera, it's washing out some of my stuff. And then these pants are just Target, but these are also new with tag. Hold up. They are the Target brand Wild Fable. I paid full price for these and gave them to Angelina and I think they were a little too big for her. They are a size medium. Um, this is kind of a little bit of a lagging look or just like a very easy boho style. Um, I'm probably gonna end up losing money on these. I don't know if I have the original price on here. I'm not sure what the original price was on these, but they are new with tag. And I just thought they were so cute with that too. Obviously these would really be cute with like a crop top. They are stretchy. They have um, a cinch waist that you can tie in addition to the elastic band so that you have some flexibility if you wanna cinch them in, if you have a smaller waist. Um, but really, really cute, and they are like a black and white stripe, so adorable. This piece is like my Ariana Grande top, I feel. Um, it is from B&G Trading. This is also new with tag um, from Topshop. I believe this was the B&G unboxing that my daughter did with her friends. You could wear it as a mini dress. It is a high mock neck in an ivory color, slouchy sweatshirt. This is a size small, but clearly, there's a lot of room in this. You could also wear it with leggings. Um, it comes down to my knees when I'm holding it up to me and it is a size small. So it's just this oversized, cute, cute, like dress, tunic, whatever you wanna call it. I do wanna say that there is this tiny mark right here. I don't even know if, I don't even know if it will show up. I'm sure it will come out when you put it through the wash, but because it is new with tag, um, I, didn't, I didn't work too hard. I should probably try to get it out one more time. This piece I love. This is such a Lori piece. Um, this was my first time finding Beyond Yoga um, in a top. I have found their leggings a couple times, but this is just this wonderful um, wrap. This would be perfect like post-workout to just throw on. And it has these three buttons over here. And you can wear it buttoned or you can unbutton it and just leave it open. And then it has kind of like a waterfall look to it. But this is just such a cute wrap top. This is classic. Uh, made in the USA, Beyond Yoga. I would say this is a size small. There's also an inside button that brings up the other side. So let me just show it to you again. There we go. So cute. I love the natural draping in the front. This skirt I love, and I feel like these mini skirts are back in 
almost like 90 inspired from like the clueless era but i'm seeing a lot of these in like little plaid skirts uh, but i love this animal print sans Susi is the brand so not a fancy brand this is like a little boutique brand this is going to be like 18 dollars 15 or 18 dollars it is a size large Definitely a cute mini skirt. This would look great with some thick tights and like a turtleneck and some knee high boots. Just adorable. Lindsay really liked this piece and she wanted this in the collection. So this is for Lindsay. How cute is that? She's a small though. So this was a little big for her. This is another piece from my own personal collection. I'm really trying to scale down some of my outerwear. I tend to buy so much and then I wear like the same beat up North Face vest all winter long. This reminds me of the Burberry coat that I just found um, that I finally got around to listing um, but it has that almost like a cape feel and a line and it's a little bit cropped. This is from Express double breasted with the really pretty leopard liner. I'm sure it's a size large. It is a size large. It's in great condition. It has some pleating in the front, like almost like a hint of a peplum style. And it has like these front pockets, just adorable. This is a great piece. Here's another piece that Lindsay is wearing in some of our pictures that you'll see on the site. This is just a W5, which I believe is sold at Anthropology. This is also sold at Tar um, TJ Maxx and places like this. But this just gave me a very like traditional New England vibe, like this tweed kind of material. It actually has threads of like a really soft pink throughout. And I just thought that this was a really versatile piece, would look great with a lot of things. So in the pictures, Lindsay's wearing it with the black hat that you're about to see and she's wearing it with the Pilcro um, jeans and it's really cute. Kind of these three quarter length sleeves. I'll get in close so you can see the texture. And it also has like a little zipper in the back. I think this would look really nice with like a little, maybe some statement piece jewelry, just something a little chunky around here to brighten it up a bit. Okay, just a couple more pieces and then we are going to move on to all of the accessories. I picked this up with the intention of sending it to Thread Up because Talbot's is one of the brands that Thread Up marks pretty high and it was new with tag. But then when I was getting ready, when I was getting ready to package it up and send it off, I noticed the tiniest little hole in the shoulder. Because it's 100% wool, this happens. Um, so right here, you can see right there. There are like little subtle shoulder pads underneath, so it's black on black, so when I purchased it, I didn't see it. But it is a size 14. I feel like that is very minor. I'm going to price it accordingly. I'm only gonna price this at $30. It is 100% wool, new Talbots blazer. So I'm sure this retailed for about $150 in the store. Oversized blazers are really in. It doesn't get any more classic than a black oversized blazer for the fall. This would look great with so many of the, of the other pieces in my collection. And I was, again, happy that I found it in a size 14. So you can look forward to seeing this, but just know that there's that little flaw. I didn't see anything anywhere else, but I will definitely give it another look over before it, um, it goes live. And this very last piece is my favorite aside from the Madewell sweater. But this is my favorite, not because it would look great on me, because it is such a unique piece. Um, I found this dress, let me come back here. Let me get in close to show you all the embroidery on this dress. So stunning. It is mustard in the background and then all of these beautiful details. Some like little pearl button details, some little sequins has these little rhinestones on here and all the beading around the neck. This is so beautiful. There's no fabric tag. There's no size tag. I would estimate this is like a size 10-ish um, and it is midi length, absolutely stunning. I thought for a while about whether or not to make this be a part of the collection only because it's so unique. I feel like this would do really well on eBay with like a larger audience. I might be able to get like more money for it over there. But then I just thought the detail in it was just too special to not include it in the collection. It has this lace hem that's beautiful. I will include the measurements on this. Like I said, it's probably like a size medium, large, midi dress, absolutely stunning. And this will be around 35 or $40, which I think is a great price. So that wraps up the clothing part of the video. Now I'm gonna go back to my desk and we're gonna go over all the accessories, shoes, boots, all the fun stuff, all the icing on the cake for this collection. Hey, hi, beautiful. Lulu's been having a good time hanging out. 
while I do my video. She's never far. She's been so good today. Took her for a really long walk yesterday. I think she's still tired. That's why she's not barking. Okay, so let's get into shoes. And then I have the jewelry pieces I think I'm just gonna put up here to show you because you'll get like a better close up if I just put a picture on the screen. And one of my housewares I'm gonna do the same for, but let's get into it. So I think I may have shown these in my last video, but these are some beautiful J. Crew made in Italy pointed toe leather kitten heels. They're absolutely stunning. They're in almost flawless condition. I think there was a little section that was rubbed like right there, you might be able to see it. Um, but other than that, this is these are just such cute shoes. So these will be listed for $45. I have them listed for $75 on my website. The J. Crew shoes that are made in Italy and have the leather sole typically sell at J. Crew between $178 and like $225. So this is a great value at $45 and they are a size eight and a half. These shoes are so cute. I love these little Madewell shoes. They are like ballerina flats. Show them up close. I got these in a recent haul as well. They still have, um, I believe it's a Nordstrom tag for $69 on the bottom. They are a size six and they have these adorable straps that just tie up your leg. So cute, the little closed toe. I love these shoes. So you'll notice a lot of my styles, I chose a lot of neutrals for my collection because I wanted things that were very classic, very New England to me. Uh, you see a lot of preppy classic styles, especially in the back bay. These shoes are absolutely beautiful. Um, look at the heel on these. These were featured recently in um, one of my thrift hauls. This is from the store that I go to in Waltham. Look at that heel. So the brand is Luis Etsy. Go like that. These shoes are six and a half and I am just obsessed with these shoes. This is a little vintage piece that I picked up recently and anybody in my age range will really appreciate the Velcro Sassoon wallet. So Sassoon was like a big brand for jeans. Um, it, it reminds me of the era when it was Sassoon and Jordache and Calvin Klein's like those were the three big names in jeans in the early 80s. And this is a new with tag little burlap wallet. It's just so cute. I love the colors in it. It's very simple. I mean, this was, it still has the little Sassoon logo inside where you can put pictures like we used to do before digital. So just a really nostalgic piece that I was super excited about. This is $15 on my website. So adorable. Like anybody who's from that era will really appreciate it. One last glance. So cute. This is a total classic and it is like brand new. It's a slim wallet by Dooney and Burke. It has like brown leather right here. Total classic. I mean, I would put this this to me is new without tag, but I can't say that, but it pretty much is. It has the red liner inside. It has a little spot right here for your ID. This is just so classic to me in a beautiful um, off-white or ivory bone color. Um, and if you can see, if I come up nice and close, you can see the Dooney. Another pair of shoes. I just picked these up recently. You haven't seen these yet. So these are not leather, but I thought that this style was great. And these are from The Loft and they are in great condition. They are man-made shoes. I believe these are a size eight and a half. Aren't those so cute? Excellent, excellent condition. They're just so nice. I love these. Um, and again, they would look great with a lot of the pieces from the collection. If you are interested in getting multiple items, I won't be sad. Little piece of jewelry. This is some costume jewelry. I've been loving all like the heavy costume jewelry and like the gold chains. This is just beautiful. I think the brand is Napier. When you look at it, the chains kind of layer down so they get a little bit longer. So when they lay on your chest, they, they do like a really beautiful draping. And here's the clasp right here. This is going to be $20 on my site. So pretty. And then it has like these little, this little detail here. And next up is another purse that I am obsessed with. This is Free People. Um, that's actually the back of it. Very similar to this. This has a little bit more like of a bone color and this is more ivory, has a little more yellow in it. This little pebble leather bag, you can remove the rope uh, strap 
and use it like as like a little clutch that you can hold on to or you can keep this and wear it as a shoulder bag. I suppose you could wear it as a crossbody, but see on me, it's a little bit shorter on me. Maybe if you're like a petite person, this would work as a crossbody. Or now some people wear the crossbody bags like much higher up. So this could definitely work as a crossbody. I would say if you're a smaller frame or if you like your bags a little higher. I'm like a size 12, 14, I probably wouldn't wear this as a crossbody. Although if I was if I was in downtown Boston and just wanted my hands free, I certainly would. It's an excellent like new condition. The inside is suede and I'll show you like the Free People logo here. Why don't we shift gears and I'm gonna show you a houseware piece that I'm really excited about. I picked this up last week um, and it is just this wooden, it's like an unfinished stained wood chip dip and I love it and I loved again the rust. It really spoke to me when I saw it for the collection. I'm like, this will be absolutely perfect for my back bay collection. So it can be used, you know, I wouldn't put like a dip right on here, but if you have like a shallow bowl, you could put that in here and then your dip and then whatever round, you could do vegetables. You could use it as like a caddy in your bedroom and you could put like trinkets and like a candle in the center. You could really get into this in a lot of ways. Like you, could, I would love to see it with a candle and maybe some greenery fall little wreath around it. You could do so much with this piece. I also, when I was looking for things for um, houseware, I wanted to find things that wouldn't break in the mail. Anyways, this is absolutely beautiful. Okay, this I picked up in Waltham, and actually my partner Daniela was shopping with me at the time, my podcast partner, and she so graciously gave it to me because she thought it would be great for the collection, and I couldn't agree more. And this is the only hat that I have in the collection, um, and I'm going to pop up a picture of Lindsay here. She looked stunning in this hat. She's got those crazy, amazing curls. And so this hat looked just beautiful on her. And um, she's also modeling on my website. So you'll see Lindsay in this hat on the website. And the brand is Ecote. That's like a nice brand. A lot of you know it's like a cute little boutique brand. Or do they sell that at Urban Outfitters? I don't know. I'm sad that we're almost done. I just have a few more pieces to share with you. And this bag is stunning. The brand is Valentina and it's this like basket weave leather that is just so classic. Um, if you look at the top here, it's separated. So there's a zipper here and a zipper here, but then like an open pouch. So lots of storage, like underrated storage here. And then it's like a magnetic closure. It is a crossbody that has the option to remove these straps. You could use it as a shoulder bag like this, which is really cute if you like it close to your body. You could remove these and just use the crossbody strap, but this bag is stunning. And this collection it just speaks so much to me. I love all the neutral colors. I love all the earth tones. I love fall in New England. So all of those things were really fun inspiration for me when I was shopping. Okay, and just a few pieces that I thought would be fun to just pop in here. I did get multiples of this piece. It's just a Nanette Lepore uh, little crystal ring holder for your phone. And it's rose gold with like little crystals, which I thought was just really nice to just jazz up your phone if you need a little ring like that. I use a pop socket, but I do love to have something to just take the pressure off my hand holding my phone all the time. So I have three of these and these are going to be $12. Then finally, I have these adorable animal print. I bought three of these and these are just like little scrunchies with the scarf and these colors were just perfect. They have the rust, they have like the blush color and then the cream and the black. Just adorable way to elevate any outfit. You know, you could just be wearing a very simple black shirt with some jeans and this would be just adorable in your hair. So I have three of these and these are gonna be just $9 on my site. So cute. A couple more housewares and then I think we're gonna be at the end of this video. Um, I purchased this and I had 100% intentions of keeping this. This is a really nice pillow. I've actually put it through the wash. I think I picked this up at the bins in New Hampshire, but I put it, washed it, and then um, tumble dried it for a little bit so it is in flawless condition. It is 
this textured pillow with gray and tan and then the back is just like you're off white. This is such a beautiful pillow. I feel like this would work well in like a Southwestern home. Um, it would also work well in like a neutral home where you have a lot of beige and cream and grays. Like I love this pillow so much. I just know my dogs and I don't want them to trash it. This pillow is a little bit more ornate. This would look beautiful on a bed. It's got those beautiful tones of mustard and then it kind of has like this damask pattern this is more of like a velvety you can you can reverse it and display it here and it's a longer pillow so really beautiful really beautiful condition there is a zipper here too it was kind of fun buying some houseware stuff too you may remember i picked this up in an estate sale a while back and angelina was planning to bring it to college with her and then at the very last minute she left it behind so i was like my win this is a vintage macrame plant holder that is just so beautiful it does have like a little staining around the hook which I will note in the photographs. Okay, and then really quickly, I'm just gonna put up here a pair of earrings that I will be, I have two pairs of earrings that are going to be listed. One is brand new, and they are these beautiful tortoise shell, like hexagon shape earrings. Those are hoops. Those are really cute. Those will be selling for $9. And then I have these beautiful mustard dangle earrings. I love these so much. These are gonna be $12. Both so, so pretty. So that wraps up my Back Bay collection. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun preparing for this. I'm hoping that people enjoy a more curated look into how I like to source. Look forward to these collections every quarter on my website. If you're interested in any of these pieces, they will be shipped out next Tuesday the 13th. Do head over to my website. If by chance this video goes out and there's something from this collection that you love and you go to my website and it is not there, please don't hesitate to email me at lauriesbostonfound at gmail.com. This is my first time launching a collection like this and I'm certain there will probably be a few glitches. So please be patient with me. I really appreciate it. And as always, thank you so, so much for being with me on this journey. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my content and I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. I love you guys. Thanks as always. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.